Good morning, beautiful souls, chosen ones, dear ones, great ones. Um, I just want to come on here real quick and just, just let you guys know to never ever in your life do evil for evil. Never. Ne let me say it again. Never in your life do evil for evil. Okay? This is a life lesson um, and something that if you can grasp this that later on in life you'll be happy uh, that you did. Alright? So if someone does you dirty if someone has wronged you, if someone has lied on you, cheated on you, talked bad about you, abused you, any of that, um, you know, uh, down talk to any of that, do not <laughs> do evil for evil. Do not try to repay people for the hurt that they may have caused you. Do not try to get revenge on people who um, did you some type of way or made you feel some type of way or caused you some type of pain. That is not your job as a chosen one, as a child of God, as a star seed, as the light of the world. That is not your job. Your job is to simply allow God to handle it, allow karma to handle it, allow uh, creation to, or um, just life to take place in that person's life, okay? That's your job. Your job is to remain you, remain at peace within, remain, and I'm not trying to downplay what you've been through um, because I know how toxic people can be and how hurtful people can be and how bad um, people may have it out for you. I know, I've been there, I've done that. I got the t-shirt for it. So I know uh, the minds of people who are no good, you know? So I know the pain that they wanna cause you. But if you can instead of thinking of revenge or taking revenge or taking matters into your own hand, relax, sit back, focus on you, focus on the things that you need to do in life, focus on being the best version of yourself. Put all that energy that you have in wanting to seek revenge on someone, on wanting to, um, pain someone the way that they have pained you. Instead of doing that, focus on yourself. Put all the energy in you. Level up, glow up, become the best version of you. And just live your life. Live your life, your life is beautiful. You only get one life here on this earth. It, you, you only experience life this one time um you know so don't be out here trying to seek revenge and take matters into your own hands when people do you dirty or do you some kind of way instead know that god is watching know that there is a, a such thing as karma and know that what everyone sows that they must reap. So you may not see them getting their karma. You may not see them getting their revenge. Or you may. Either way. Don't wish on nobody's downfall. Keep moving. Life is too short to be sitting here uh, focused on an individual who should have never had your attention from the beginning. You know, it's too short. Life is too beautiful. It's too much out there in life. Um, for you and for you to be doing and in your purpose and in your calling for you to be sitting up here stressed and pressed about somebody who never meant you any good don't do that to yourself no longer okay
Don't worry about no type of revenge and all that crap. They're gonna get theirs, trust me. They're going to get theirs. Believe me when I tell you this. I've seen it time and time again. People do not get away with doing people dirty. And if you are a kind-hearted individual and a genuine person who has meant um, a person good and brought nothing but goodness to the person and never harmed them or would have wished harm on them or hurt to them and have done your part and gave your all, man, if anything, I would be scared if I was them. I would be, I would be, you know, messed up inside if I've done somebody dirty that had my back, like you had theirs, you know? So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to be pressed or stressed or wondering, waiting for people to get their, you know, for you to get their revenge or for them to get their karma. No, live your life, live your life. It's too much out there for you to be doing. And um, life is too short and beautiful uh, for you to be stuck on somebody or worried about somebody getting revenge who done you dirty because that's never your problem. That's never your worry. It's coming. Trust me, it's coming. It has to come. Everything that is sown must be reaped, good or bad. It doesn't matter. You must eat the fruit of your labor. You must eat the fruit of, from the seed that you have sown. Everybody must. And that's why you can't worry about revenge because you worrying about revenge and um, not allowing karma and God to handle that situation, you will bring karma upon yourself. Okay? So you don't want to do that. You don't want to bring karma on yourself. You want to stop um, the cycle of, of karma um, coming to you, you know, bad karma coming to you by allowing, just letting go, just letting go and being free and allowing God to handle the rest. That's your job, okay? All right, I just wanted to come on here real quick because I just felt like it's so many people who I see online and just I know in person like that wish ill will against people and want to seek revenge and can't wait to do this or can't wait to do that it's like you don't even have to do that especially if you know you did this person right if you know you did them if you know your heart was pure toward them and they did you dirty man if anything you should be feeling sorry for what's about to come on them if anything, you should be feeling like, dang, you know, because I know where I came from, you know, because you know that your heart was pure. You know that you gave it your all. All right. So don't seek revenge, y'all. Keep your head up. Do what you got to do. Stay focused. Work on you. Become the best version of yourself and let God handle the rest. All right. It's not yours. It doesn't belong to you. That karma and revenge does not belong to you. It belongs to God and he will repay. All right. I'm going to finish my walk. Y'all have a blessed rest of y'all day. I love y'all. Bye.